My name is Gwen Pitsu. Well, when I married my husband in 99, he was taking the USANA products, their health and wellness products, and in 2002 was diagnosed with breast cancer and had to go through eight chemo treatments and um, my oncologist also wanted me to enroll in a hereditary program based on questions he asked me, and he learned that my mother passed away when she was only 51 of a female-related cancer. And so I enrolled in a hereditary study and learned that I have what's called a BRCA2 mutation. And that increased my risk for a breast cancer recurrence or fallopian cancer. I just um, didn't think much about it, but as I went through the chemo treatments, I didn't have all of the adverse effects that so many people have. And I had been taking the USANA products two years prior to my diagnosis, almost three years prior to my diagnosis. So after I got through the chemo and learned that I had the BRC, BRCA2 mutation, my oncologist strongly recommended that I have preventative surgeries, a complete hysterectomy and both breasts removed. And so I opted to do that, and it all went very well. Uh, my doctors were amazed at my recovery, and it really got me to think um, when I was recovering, what if these products could help other people? Um, and I don't, I don't feel that they're a miracle cure or anything like that, but I think they had really built my immune system to withstand both the chemo and then the surgeries. And I felt great after having the surgery. And I had both surgeries, all the surgery done on the same day. So went home a day and a half later and felt really good. So then I had a lot of time to reflect and think. And I just heard a voice inside saying, this is what you need to be doing. And I thought, what if I can help other people with these products? Um, didn't know anything about direct sales, didn't really know anything about USANA and the science that went behind it. So Ed and I, my husband and I, went out to their manufacturing facility and their annual convention and, and learned about the founder and the science um, and saw other associates that were like-minded like me, people that truly wanted to help other people have a better quality of life with regard to their health. So that's what made a difference for me. And when you go through something in your life, a health challenge of that magnitude, I think you always reassess what you're doing. So when I went back to the bank, I just thought, you know, I had done it for 31 years. The bank was great to me all those years. But I thought, you know, I really, I don't want to do this anymore. I had a passion for something else. So that's what led me to do USANA. I've absolutely seen changes in people's lives, um, whether small or large, um, you know, just with more energy, um, maybe being able to make a change in their, their weight, um, eliminating colds and flus, sometimes the small things that we take for granted. Yeah, and, and it's so gratifying to hear people come back and say, I feel a lot better, you know, or it has helped this or it has helped that. So that can be very gratifying when you're giving somebody a little bit better quality of life. I would say my why for doing what I do with USANA Health Sciences is to educate people so that they know that they have a choice when it comes to their health. Um, I've learned in the last 12 years that regardless of genetics, um, you know, you hear people say, my father died of heart disease, so I'm doomed. Or, you know, my mother had cancer, I'm gonna have cancer. And I've learned that while genetics are very important, um, we all have a choice. And they're learning, science is learning that you can change those genetics through lifestyle changes, you know, through healthy eating, through exercise, um, through a positive attitude, through giving back. All those things are important and you have a choice. So my why is to provide education for people so that they know that they have a choice. If they truly want to feel better 
um, they can do that. And it's not a magic bullet. It's something that that they have to want to make the change. I can't, as much as I want to help somebody with their health, I, I can't do it with my products. Um, it has to be within them. They have to make, want to make a change. But if I can plant some seeds and help them do that, then that's what I feel that I've been called to do.